right, hello everyone and welcome uh, Ritwik. Uh, thank you for chatting and many congratulations on making it to ISI. All right, Ritwik. So uh, we're all interested in knowing your entire journey, uh, step by step, how you took the steps, starting with how you took this decision that I'm going to sit for these entrances. Like, you know, how did you choose this? Yeah. So how did you end up choosing this? Uh, you know, what made you choose? And then, uh, like you told me once that, you know, second year, thoda waste kiya, third year mein seriousness aaya. you know, so how was everything? Like, I want you to cover everything, uh, every aspect of, you know, what, how is, how was it for you? Because everybody has a very different journey. So second year, it was basically a, an impulsive decision. So I took the Eco Foundation course. Okay. I thought that this okay. could be a nice way to start my journey for this prep. Absolutely. And, uh, and the fact that, uh, you know, Apo, you thought of doing an MA Eco, was that also just ki sab log kar rahe hai? Yeah, you had any thought behind ki mujhe kyun, why should I choose this as a career path? I chose BSc Eco because I was uh, very... Uh, fascinated and interested with uh, these subjects, economics, mathematics, mathematics, etc. Okay. So uh, that's how I end up choosing the bachelor's course. And then I thought that master's would be the obvious next step. And it was basically more of an impulsive decision. I did not give much thought before making that choice. And that choice gradually developed into something serious during my trip. Okay. All right. So it was firstly just, you know, something, key, okay, let's do this. This sounds like, this sounds good, whatever, you know, not much thought, like you said. Okay. And then you started your prep, you came into the foundation course and, and now take us through that. Uh, during my foundation course, that was the, I think the first time when I got to know about these books, Vadian and Manq. So I spent the second year reading these books and also solving the Vadian workbook. Yeah. I personally found that to be very interesting. I mean, it, it could uh, like easily pass for a fun exercise instead of some exam prep. Right. It so is I, very light, right? Variant yeah. book also is a very light read. It's not yeah. difficult. The workbook I particularly found very interesting. Correct. Okay. So I used to spend my time solving the questions uh, from the workbook in my second year and I did not do anything much apart from that. So you like read a few chapters book. from Variant and solved the workbook. Primarily and read a little bit of manual. Well. light and you, so it was fun. So you see, you have yeah, yeah, yeah. very light. Itna, matab, itna, you know, heavy it's serious uh -huh. yeah, yeah. More, more like a light thing. All right. Yeah. Okay, great. So that's how the second year went by. Yeah. All right. And then phir, jab third year I so then you uh, then, then third year ka to first day say eco topper course me, I gave my full attention. Okay. I followed your and some kids sir's advice of doing two hours a day in addition to the one hour of video lectures. Okay. So that I did for six months. And how did you manage your time, like, you know, along with the college studies? Was it okay to give two hours a day? Was it uh, okay for you taking that time out? Or was it a conscious effort that I have to do I think it was a bit of both. There were days when I did not do um, anything for my entrance. And then there were days where I gave four or five hours. So averaging that out, I think I gave two hours per day for the first six months of the eco topper course, in addition to the video lectures. Okay. All right, so that's how it went. So, and this you kind of did up till uh, just up till uh, November, yeah. Okay, yeah. So uh, then you became, then you were uh, giving. So after third year, you were giving four to five hours when you could. Sometimes not doing something, kind of averaging like two to three hours a day. Two hours a day, yeah. Two hours a day ka average time. So this went mm -hmm. on up till December. This is how this you. This went this? on uh, up till November first. Okay, this was because, up till November first. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. First and week of December, I had my NSM exams, so I had to give some time for uh, preparing for that as well. So right. I stopped my preparation after the first week of November and I fully focused on my college because I hadn't studied much up till then okay. for college. So I had to pass obviously, so I had to give some time for okay. college. So December college ke mein gaya. December ka first week gaya and mostly pura November gaya. Achha, pura November and December ka first yeah. week college ke liye gaya. Yeah. Aap nahi kar entrances ke liye. Yeah, usme bilkul bhi, uh, nahi kiya. You didn't do anything that time. Uh, okay. But I I think I more than made up for it uh, in December and January. Like after the end after my end sem exams, we were the next semester, I think, start from the mid of January or something around that. So it was a nice big holiday. Right. So I more than made up for it then. Right. So that, one month you wouldn't study. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. studied fully there. Yeah. Okay. Oh, all right. And then uh, the IIT exam happened. You did well yes. there. Yes, so yes, did yes. that give you confidence that okay I'm yeah, that gave exam. me a lot of confidence that i do belong at that level because the seats are so less that you never know before giving an actual examination that where do you stand across india yeah like there might be 
20 good students spread across India, you never know. So right. where I actually stand, I got to know after giving the IT exam, that gave me a lot of confidence. So the IIT exam gave you a lot of confidence. And so, and after that, did your mindset change a little, you know, uh, that, um, okay, I'm just going to continue doing this, or did you get a little extra confidence, ki, hai, you know, I am amongst the top, so maybe, uh, you know, it's enough, or how was it, like, you know, how does it impact, how did it impact? Yeah, yeah looking back, I think maybe it gave me some extra confidence, like more than it actually should have, and uh, also the fact that uh, the college pressure started to mount after that, like we had to make our college dissertation, then it was a short semester it was a three-month semester so we had our midterm exams and our interim exams like right. there was a two-week gap between everything midterm exams and two-week gap dissertation two-week gap NSEMS, and then two-week gap isi so My God. yeah so that is, it, that is quite strenuous yeah that that was pretty tough to manage and i don't think i gave a lot of time to my isi prep during this period like during this two three month period where most of the other students who were not from st Xavier's devoted most of the time Mm -hmm. And uh, that was a time where students from St. Xavier's had to focus more on the college thing. Yeah, because it was quite back. It was a little bit of a disadvantage there. Yeah. But we were lucky to have our NSEMS completed like 15 days before the ISI exam. Okay. In the last 15 days, all of us gave a full attention to the exam. Okay. So, so, and before that, it must be like, you know, in between. Key, yeah, key. It, in between. There were only a few days where I could fully focus on entrances. Mm -hmm. Mostly, I had to do college work. So it was a lot of challenges. I did manage uh, multitasking, and you know, uh, average if you see, I gave uh, like one point five to two hours. Okay, but, but that's less considering uh, it's yeah. so close to the exam. Right, 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 right. But uh, so, um, uh, did you like? Uh, did you know this is going to happen? Or no, I didn't know expect. No, no, I did not expect it. it to be that tough. No. Okay, if you had known, then maybe earlier you could have prepared a little more or something, but. You know, this was, uh, this is so such close, if so close to exam, to the exam, you have so much pressure, then it, it is, it is quite challenging. I mean, you know, if you guys... I think I somewhat knew that this was going to happen, but I thought, ki, hai, baad mein type ka right, right. Uh, I kept focusing on my entrances earlier. And then uh, at the, after IIT, I had to do some college stuff. Right. And so, and then those 15 days, what did you prioritize anything in those 15 days? Ki, mujhe yehi karna hai abhi? Yeah, I prioritized on doing all the past year papers of ISI, last 15 years PE and PB. Okay. I focused on doing every question and seeing the solution of every question and ensuring that there is no such question that or no such concept related to a question that I have got uncovered. Right. That was a priority. And then there were a few areas I thought I needed to focus more on. Like I knew that there would always be a solo question in PB. <laughs> so I gave an entire day to revising all the solo concepts and looking for tough solo questions on the internet. Right. So there so were a few such things apart from that, yeah, PA and PE. Correct. Um, okay. So uh, past year papers kind of try to understand the pattern of ISI working around it. Uh, yes. That's what you were trying to do uh, before that. And just one question, since you know, so many of you from St. Xavier's gave uh, this entrance, did that help? Like, you know, did, did you guys do some yeah, yeah. studies or anything? This is for other students, you know, uh, you know, even probably they can also try this. So, uh, you know, if you, did you study together? Like, did you try to... Uh, we did not study other? together, but yeah, we did help each other out. And whenever there was a doubt, we knew that every one of us was always a call away or a text away. And we did not even need to do that. We met each other at college every day. So we used that college time to interact with us, with, with each other and uh, to ask and sort of, sort of, uh, yeah, sort out our doubts. Right. Okay. All right. And how was it on the day of the exam? On the day of the exam, you already know that uh, my PA went really bad. And uh, yeah, after that, I was slightly demotivated, but I tried to ensure that my PB does not get affected because of this. Mm. And I think I managed to ensure that quite well. Yeah, that's what I, you did. your PEB yeah, yeah. wasn't good. Your PEB was very good. PEB was very good. Yeah. My, so I think what my happened during the getting PA? There were a few things that happened. Firstly, I wasn't expecting the center to have uh, to be a non-AC center. Firstly, <laughs> and uh, there was no clock. I was expecting a clock there. Yeah. There was no yeah. clock, so it was difficult to keep record of the time. The time left. Every time I needed to know what was the time, I needed to call the invigilator, invigilator and ask him like how much time there. Right. So, so these were the things I did not expect. And my seat was near the window at the seventh floor. And okay. uh, yeah, and it was breezy that morning. 
and all my papers were like flying away every 5 10 minutes okay. so i had to keep everything in check and still there were times when everything was flying and i had to uh, uh, put everything back on the desk so that also kind of distracted me a lot it a little distracted during the test yeah, yeah, yeah. also the level i think uh, you know that's what you all were feeling that the level was slightly higher than the other years so even that was was that it was not mind? slightly higher than the other years it was slightly higher than the last year but other years there there were more difficult papers before 2023 so that i don't think was a problem the fact that i got distracted a lot and ended up messing some of my sums because of that that i felt was the real yeah because i think that's what you all said you made silly mistakes in the yeah. paper you know after the paper you realize what you were doing but during the exam you know that was uh, like you said you're a bit distracted all right so uh, so the exam happened not you know the best not the best that you would have hoped for but still then you got the call and then the interview prep so so how was that take us through you know uh, the how was the interview prep and you know how was the experience of that interview so when i got to know that i'm selected for the interview i think we only had 13 or 14 days left yeah and i had to do a few things during that time which uh, was completely unplanned like i had a family function to attend family functions to attend so uh, that 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 was a major distraction there but i knew that i only needed to revise pe and tv and revise some key concepts like right. i already had got everything covered by then because i have given the isi exam so i have already covered everything i just needed to revise a few things and ensure that i have got the concepts of all pe and tv questions covered right so that if they give a related concept or they pick or if they pick up a direct sum i am able to solve it without any hassle right and so, and the day of the uh, the interview how was that experience that was a really nice experience my interview came like two hours after i went to the auditorium okay so me and some of the other students who were also like uh, whose interview was also scheduled late we were chit chatting and we were having some fun and so uh, i think because of that i did not feel the anxiety or the pressure while going for the interview because i chit chatted with a lot of people before going to the interview right and i feel my interview went near perfect like the question they asked it was the same pattern for everyone they showed the question paper you had 10 minutes to think over it and then we had to go to a different room and present the question right so uh, it was a three part question three part oligo poly question i was able to do just the first part during those 10 minutes that we were given okay. and the second and third part i was not able to do by then but while i was going to the different uh, room during that group i managed to do the second and the third parts like briefly in my mind think it over in your head i, I, I was thinking them over and uh, i had to wait for the uh, 3 or 4 minutes because the other person's interview was going on so that also gave me a bit of an advantage i got to think over my sum a bit more right then after in entering the room it went pretty smooth i think they asked me to introduce myself i int- introduced myself and then they asked some pretty basic questions and then asked me to present and told that after 10 minutes to introduce yourself because not everybody was asked that no i was asked you were asked okay yeah, yeah. okay all right all right great then they gave me 10 minutes to solve the question and uh, i kind of ensured that it doesn't take me 10 minutes it takes me much much less than that so what i did was like if there are steps a b c i wrote down step a and then wrote down step b and uh, while writing i was like uh, explaining them that this is step a after this i'll get to step b and this what i'm writing right, right now would be an implication and would be the step c of uh, and it would be an implication of step b okay. so i was saving my time that way okay and uh, i think i ended up presenting my question inside 6 7 minutes oh great so i think that your uh, your interview went very well interview and pv was good which is yeah happened. and then they asked me an extra question to related to the question related to, to the question i had okay i was able to solve that as well all right so all of this happened inside 10 minutes oh very nice yeah yeah so 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 great so that day was went fine i think that, so that day you must have felt mm-hmm. okay looks like this went well yeah Yeah. Okay. Looks like chances have yeah. go sector. Yeah. Correct. Correct. That's great. Uh, so okay, Ritwik. So this is uh, you know this is how your whole journey was. Any pointers that you can say? It's like like I said, everybody has a different way of studying. Some people concentrate a lot on theory. Some people concentrate a lot on questions. Uh, can you just share what was your thing? You know, how did you kind of balance the theory and the questions? I'd say that if you are a student from the first year or the second year of college, you should start. reading this these books median man q and uh, such books yeah so that you have your theory covered before right. you right. enter the final stage of your prep where you require to do more sums and focus on the areas you know that you are weak on right. so those weak spots you already know you know when you have already studied 
the theory ones correct so that if you have time then start doing it from your second year right so that that helped you that you know you had yeah. that base in theory was there for you in your second year so that in the third year you could more focus on questions uh, and that so that helped you okay uh, that makes sense all right rithvik anything else any last closing tips you would like to share with uh, your juniors try making good friends they'll help you clear your doubts and uh, keep you motivated throughout your journey yeah it's difficult that, was, that has been very important uh, for me in yeah. my journey so i would suggest you the same i completely agree when i when i studied for dsc i was constantly with a friend of mine like we, we both were studying together so yeah all right great rithvik thank you so much uh, and all the very best enjoy your time at isi which isi are you going to kolkata isi kolkata all right okay so all the best take care and i'm sure you'll have a great career have fun thank you thank you rithvik Bye.